Hey guys, it's Curtis from Merch Titans. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and understand our product search module. Now, I do not want to waste your time, so let's go ahead and get started. So up here in the search field, I'm going to enter a keyword. Uh, I'm going to go with Dabbing Santa Shirt. This shirt has been popular lately. Uh, so we'll give it a few minutes to, or a few seconds to load up the search results. Okay, as you can see here, we have loaded a hundred products. That's the max that Amazon will allow us to pull at any time. So we have a hundred products. That's the total number of products displayed below, as you can see. And then the category we selected, which is right here. And then the top estimated monthly sales returned from search, which would be the top selling product, and it's this one right here. And then the average price found across all results returned, and the minimum price and the max price. Now moving on, right here, this is the title of this t-shirt pulled directly from Amazon.com and you can click on it to go out and view the shirt on Amazon. And You also have the bullet points, the features, right here. We pull these from Amazon as well. And the description. This t-shirt in particular does not have a description, but as you can see here, this one does and it is pulled. Now this little box of information is important. Uh, you have the price of the shirt on Amazon, you have the brand name being used right here, you have the ASIN, then you have the seller rank, and that is the most important piece of information Amazon gives us. The lower the seller rank, the uh, more sales a product is receiving. And normally, the lower this rank, the higher a product will rank on Amazon.com for its keywords as well. And then right here, our algorithm predicts the estimated monthly sales a product is receiving based on the seller rank and you can see with this product in particular it has or it's receiving on estimate 2645 plus sales a month now moving on from that right here you have the best seller rank and price history on a chart and this is very valuable information when you're doing your product research you can come in click on this chart and see if it has history so if it has a bunch of BSR history like the up and downs you know that this product is product is consistently receiving sales. So here you go, here's the chart. This is the price, the yellow line indicates the price. If that were to change at any time, we will keep track of that data for you so you can see the price fluctuation. Uh, and then the black line is the BSR. So you can see as it changes. And then when it drops, so it's receiving sales, goes up, it drops, and you can see right here, it's getting lower and lower, meaning this product is definitely receiving consistent sales obviously the seller rank is really low and the estimated monthly sales is up but this piece of information is very very valuable in your product research process so do not take that lightly I, I recommend you check that on many many products throughout your research process now moving on right here you have your favorites if you like this product and you want to come back to it later you can add it to your favorites as you can see here I've already added that product to my favorites and uh, you can add it to Tracker as well, which I'll get into the details on each of these modules later on in our other videos. But moving on, you can check trademark safety and check product SEO, and you can report an infringement if this product is your design and someone else is using it. You can go to the page on Amazon right here and report that product to them so they can take further action. And then our keyword cloud, uh, this isn't completed yet, but it will grab the most used keywords from this listing, from the title, from the features, and from the brand, and it'll show them here for you for easy access. Anyway, that is our product search module in a nutshell. Um, I'll be building videos for each of our modules so that you can quickly view them and get an understanding of how they work. Uh, that pretty much covers it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.